don't like where that full stack of Mongols is heading. Okay, Crown Prince Tutush. Okay, it looks like he was pretty badly affected by the plague as well. Okay. God will help me wait for prevail. We are done. I think this is a pretty advanced castle, so I think we should, I think we have an inner wall. Which is where I'm going to make my stand. Just in, on the inside of the inner wall. Yeah, we do. Good. So, I'm going to hold this wall here. Swordsman up on this wall. Defend that. And then I'm going to have my spearman blockade this bit. Like that. So let's fast forward. So we've got three walls. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got the outer wall, this inner wall, and then that inner wall. The inner inner wall. <laughs> so, but I want to defend this one. Best spot for my archers. Look at this. Downhill slope. Advantage of the wall. Should be pretty good. So, and also they're going to have to waste time to break through this outer wall first. So. Wait for them to do that then. Sure what to say while we wait. The walls have fallen. It's not a lot to say. We've got to wait them out a bit, really. Now. Here they go. Okay, are they moving? Sending someone forward. My archers are on fire manually. They're not at fire at will, which is why I want them. Who are these? Who are these? This is the full on, <coughs> the full on hope of Janissary units, isn't it? Janissary. Or Janissary, or I don't know how you pronounce it. The rest of them are walking. Now I want all my archers to be able to shoot at a unit. And there's the bodyguard. I think. Or is that no 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 it's just, just a heavy cavalry. I think. Oh that is the bodyguard. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Okay, everyone to shoot these guys, just to do a couple of volleys. These guys on this end of the wall, I'm going to get to <coughs> hold fire in a second. Because they've got their own horse archers moving around that way. So you guys hold fire, please. 
Those cavalry are walking around slowly. I do like the Turkish infantry when they have their armor upgraded. I mean, the Saracen militia look pretty awesome. They're going to lose so many men just getting to my wall before they even being able to siege it. I'm getting my archers to basically take it in turns to shoot at certain units. It's a, sh it's a shame, these are all plague survivors and now they're getting slaughtered by arrows. What a waste. Thirteen percent of their army. Well, fourteen now. thing about having this slant here is that these guys have got a good shot against the enemy backs there as they walk past. Uh -oh. Everyone shoot these uh, Janissary ladder carriers quick. We need to act. Take out as many of them as possible. So those ladder carriers are walking past the general, so I'm sh uh, taking out the general at the same time as well. Which is good. How many general units have we taken out? There's a huge line of bodies along here. <coughs> and now we'll shoot that Janissary battering ram. Blockade that gate. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Bring these swordsmen around. These swordsmen should be able to do the job. <laughs> Basically just putting two units together there. And now everyone's just going to slam into these Janissaries. 
all of right. Let's get actually, let's get these two to shoot there. Get these two to shoot the general. They've lost forty percent of their army, and I've lost two percent. It's to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a nice little U shape around there. Should be enough to hold them off. These initiatives are getting cut down. Need to move these guys a bit up a bit more. To get them more involved. Go. Look at that. They're all gonna die. All the genius trees are gonna get killed. Fifty two per cent. Making a bit of headway. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. The enemy are battering down the gates! Go on, Norman Knights. We may overrun our position eventually. Send some archers across. Oh. It sounds because Muslim archers are actually pretty awesome in melee as well. Obviously not as good as normal infantry, but still pretty good. All the archers get across. Go, go, go. Hold the wall. Let's look at the trail of shot enemies. Let's look at all this. Now the enemy general is charging into my spearman. Well, that's a smart move, general. Bring my general down here. So you can chase down the enemy as they rout. What is that attack? Melee attack of 12, defense of 12. That's pretty good for archers. Losing a fair few archers, but that's no problem. Oh, look at that! <laughs> awesome charge. They've got no infantry support left for their general. Okay, those Janissaries are retreating. They're still sending troops up onto the wall. Seventeen per 
percent to seventy seventy seven percent. And there goes the crown prince. The Saracen general. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. See my general outside now. Take all prisoners. Just a large bulk of Saracen militias about to run down. <laughs> well, they were. is in our favor if we remain true and wholehearted the enemy there we go. flees Keep going. the battle run down those worthless peasants don't worry i intend to run them down for as many of them down as i can Particularly these Janissaries, I want to get rid of all of them. Chase them down, General. And whilst he does that, let's have a quick overview of the massacre. All of these men were either run down or shot. <laughs> And then you get to the wall, and it's carnage up here. I lost a lot of dismounted knights there. General slowly gaining on them. There he goes. Last unit. Kill that one man. Kill him. Dead. By the Lord above. 174 men lost with 1319. Boom. And we killed the crown prince of the Turks as well. Sorted. Small Mongol force attacking me at Prague. They come here to siege, but they shall live here dead. Only one thousand more Florins to go until we're back into the positive. We can march no further today. Ah, oh, I lost a family member in Tunis to the play. Oh, there's no garrison there. Ooh. We'll get a garrison next turn. God's servant. Who is the purveyor of heresy? This. Yes, Lord. As you wish.
also build a garrison at Nuremberg as well. That is going to be needed. Okay, not really a lot I can do, except destroy these Mongol fleets, and the Byzantine. There was a priest on there, whoops, ah well. We control access to this port now, my lord. Someone to see? Very good, my lord. Here, I shall stop Quite high up with the Pope. Actually, I'm one of the highest. There's only two of us that are the highest. It's me and France. And we're at war with each other. Not good. Okay. Gonna put my spy in Budapest so that they can't open the gates. the papal states and those inquisitors. Oh, damn it. They got an army there before I could put my spy in there. This is not good. The enemy yeah, looks like I'm going to put all my money orders. towards building a defense at Nuremberg. Because I have no one here. Spread the word of the Lord in Thessalonica. Very well. Right. We've got a lot of retraining to do. Everywhere. Train. Oh, yeah, garrison. <laughs> uh, Everyone's happy again, though, so that's good. Right, uh, these guys. Yes, move out. There will be much honor in Next this turn, we take Tripoli. There's a Byzantine diplomat. Naturally, my lord. On my way. Today's journey ends. Orders? They have a lot. They have a few peasants in there. So we will attack them. Yes, lord. Yes, my lord. Very good, my lord. Your orders? Yes. Go away, Egypt. Closing to engage, my lord. A glorious triumph. Full sail. What can I build?
There you go. Okay. So let's make some saves here. And I will see you in the next episode. What we're going to do then is this city is one turn left, so I expect they'll fight. So we'll have a battle at Constantinople. We'll have a battle here at Caesarea. Uh, Caesarea. And I'm guessing the Mongols are going to attack at least one or two, one or both of these cities. So we may end up having four battles in the next bulk recording. So join me then.